want to know if you can easily connect your GH4 to an external monitor. In this video, I'm going to show you a way with the Panasonic Image app. Let's go! Now, with the Panasonic Image app, there's a few ways you can connect to it. Either through your iPad, your phone, your iPhone, or your Android device. It's very simple to connect. Connect via Android. From what I, my experience, it's best for you to connect by the QR code, okay? You just take a photo and it should connect automatically for you. But before you do that, make sure you download the app from the App Store or Google Play Store, okay? Download the app, it's free. Good thing about Panasonic is it's free. The app is free. You don't have to pay any extra money. For Android device or any high quality camera or the iPhone and, and any Samsung Galaxy, it has really good camera, okay? So it can easily use the QR code to connect. From my experience using the iPad, I need to use the Wi-Fi network and I have to enter the password myself to connect to Wi-Fi. Your mileage might be vary, but that's the two way I can connect easily. Try for yourself and see which, which one works for you. But there's uh, many ways you can connect the, the camera to your monitor. Okay, try it. Once you connect your camera, your GH4, to your iPad, iPhone, you can control it, all the functions. Mostly the aperture, shutter speed, ISO, white balance, you can control all that right here. It's a way if you have your iPad in front of you like that, you can monitor yourself. So right now, my camera is two meters away. Okay? I have two cameras. One is the Cinex 4, one is the Samsung S8. And I just you know, cut back and forth. But if I'm just doing a talking head right now, but I haven't connected yet. I will do this now and show you the actual process, okay? There's a function button on top of the camera. F1, press on it and will connect you to the Wi-Fi network. Make a new connection by QR code or Wi-Fi with a password. I'm in the app, okay? So Okay. I can control everything from the app. So the white balance, I can, I can do that as well. I can change it. See? Okay. Just that. The ISO. Let me move to ISO so you know that I have moved out. Okay. The ISO, let's move really dark. Okay, now it's really dark. Okay. All the way to the right, really bright. And back to the right exposure. But you can see all the settings right, right now. I'm oh, just click just a little bit. Okay, 800 will be fine. I'm using window lighting, so manual focus. So I just use the focus button to focus on me. And once you ready to take, press record. And right now I'm recording. Okay, you have with this right. You have to set up your GH4 with this app right. You can't change the setting while you recording. Okay, so you have to do your settings first, then press record. The only two things that you can record is what? Okay, the aperture and ISO. Okay, so you can still change that. Now, this tip here is very useful for you. You can now focus every single time. Okay, switch to manual focus in your camera and use the touch focus with your button here and you focus on your face. Like this, poking head like this. I will focus on my eye, okay, my head, and you should now focus every single time so there's no no more no excuse for you to have the camera hunting to the background no more excuses now you have this technique right here you will you will never go back to the old ways of using the panasonic gh4 to, to do this kind of shot if you are in front of the camera and you by yourself this is what you use this is what i use okay, to control my gh4 most of the time do you know now how to connect the Panasonic GH4 to the Panasonic Image app? It's a really simple process and I have walked you through the whole process. Check out the link here if you need to learn more about how to set up your camera to take to make content for YouTube. Check it out here or see the description. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.